I tried to sit and write a pros and cons list and honestly this is going to be a lot more complicated than that. I know Disney College Program apps are releasing. It is high time and I know you're asking yourself, Desiree, is the Disney College Program worth it? Let's talk about it. So the first thing you need to know about the Disney College Program is that your hours are going to vary. I knew people who worked in Magic Kingdom who would work till all hours of the night who consistently had at least 40 hours a week. I did not have that experience. I worked at Hollywood Studios. I worked at Star Tours. I only got about 30 hours a week, which was nice in theory, but I I didn't have a savings when I went. So big tip, if you're gonna go, save up before you go so that you're not worried about money and general living expenses while you're there. Cause it's gonna be a lot. You're not gonna anticipate it at first, but it's going to financially build up and you're gonna wanna have money put aside for you to be able to just sit back, relax and enjoy your program instead of being stressed about how many hours you're getting. One of the reasons why a lot of people enjoy doing the college program is not just that you get to go to Disney, but you also get to explore Orlando and Florida. Doesn't that mean beaches all the time? Not necessarily. If you don't bring a car, then it is very likely you will get stuck in the Disney bubble. Personally, when I did my CP in fall 2019, I did not drive nor did I have a car. So I couldn't really get off of Disney property unless I Ubered or had a friend or a coworker drive me. That is obviously going to depend very much on their schedules and when they're free. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I'm just saying that you won't really be able to just pick up and go the way that I think you'll want to. So if you have a car and you're debating bringing it to the college program, I would say bring it because I felt like the people who had cars had a very different CP than I did. In that same kind of vein, the beach is not as close as you think it is. You will have to schedule time to be able to go. Like I said, if you have a car, that's gonna be a lot easier. If you don't, you're gonna need to find time that you and your friend or multiple friends have free to be able to coordinate a trip to the beach. You're gonna need to have to block out a lot of time to be able to do that. That's gonna be like a whole day excursion. So you wanna plan to have the same day off and that is very hard to do on your CP. Understand that it's not going to be like every other day you're at the beach with all your friends. It is primarily a working internship and that is what you're going to spend the majority of your time doing. Another thing I wanted to mention is the fact that you and your friends will almost guaranteed never have the same days off. And sometimes you will, which is nice, but more often than not, you will not have the same days off. I tried to meet up with one of my friends my entire program. We had opposite schedules our entire program. We both worked at Hollywood Studios, but she was in food, I was in attractions, and so we just had opposite schedules. My roommate at the time, we also had pretty opposite schedules. At the beginning, we had similar days off and it was fine, but after a little bit, we had opposite schedules and we weren't really able to hang out as much. It started to get pretty lonely, I'm not gonna lie to you. That kind of brings me into my next little tip is that the DCP is lonelier than you think it is. I don't feel like people really properly prepare you for that fact. The DCP will get lonely sometimes and you will have to be okay with spending some days alone. You will have to be okay with going to the parks alone. And now some of you are thinking, oh my gosh, that sounds like a dream. And that's great. I'm so glad. But for me, it wasn't fantastic. I think it would be better now, but at the time, it just wasn't for me. If you're trying to run away from your problem, like I was, they're just gonna kind of come back to you. So just think about it. Think about it. In that same vein, you're completely uprooting your life. There's going to be a lot of big changes. You're moving to a new place, trying new things, meeting new people. Maybe you don't know anyone there. You're going to be doing a lot of new things for the first time and it can get kind of overwhelming. It's exciting. It's awesome. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's fantastic, right? That's what you want to do. But understand the emotional side of what that might mean for you in that it might get a little anxiety ridden. If you're like me and you have mental health issues, big changes that fast can be a lot. Now this brings me to my next thing that I wish I knew. The biggest perk, right, is parks. You get to go to the parks for free. This is fantastic, right? And it is. It is fantastic. But hear me out. Blockout dates. 
That's all I gotta say. There was significant portions of my program where I was blocked out of more than one park at a time. So if you're thinking you're gonna be able to go into whatever park you want to on any day off, I am here to give you a little reality check and let you know that that might not be completely possible all of the time. And that's okay. Sometimes that's just okay. Sometimes you make do. It forced me to get comfortable with other parks other than the ones that I wanted to stick to. And it allowed me to develop new favorites because I don't think that DAC would have been one of my favorite parks had I not done my CP and spent the majority of my time there. Really, it is now. I love Animal Kingdom. It's fantastic. And Epcot has always been one of my top tiers, so not really having block out dates for that was fantastic find by me. Luckily at Disney there are four parks so the chances of you being blocked out of all of them are not high but they're never zero. Now I want to go over the environment just a little bit because I wish someone had told me that the Disney college program is essentially a college campus of its own partying included because this is Florida. This is Orlando, Florida. I don't know if that's hitting the same way that it should be, but it's basically like one large sorority and fraternity for half of the residential life and then the other half aren't like that, but the party culture is high and mighty. I just want you to be aware of that. Like you are taking a semester off, but you're with college students from all around the country and in some cases all around the world with the ICP. So you are on a new version of a college campus. It's just for Disney. And after a certain time, it's pretty much just college program participants who are running the entire parks. I mean, it is a wild concept here, but I'm getting off track. I think it's mostly just important important to note that you will not be missing out on a college experience and you will be facing a lot of the same issues you would have if you were on a college campus. If you are someone like I was, your mental health is super unstable and you're battling addiction issues or substance abuse, maybe consider factoring that in because it's not going to make it easier to say no. Just keep that in mind because it's an incredibly enabling environment and I would hate for someone to go without just knowing that beforehand. The next thing I wish I knew is that the friendship or roommate or coworker workplace drama can get so out of hand so fast. Like I said, pressure pot college experience here. It's not always gonna be peachy keen and I think nine times out of 10, someone has an issue with one of their roommates. It is just the way of life. Thing is, at Disney, it's primarily theater kids, myself included, who are incredibly dramatic, myself included, and can blow things out of proportions really quickly. It's not everyone's experience, but most of the time you hear about at least that one roommate who just, it's a little, it's a little wild. That being said, I will say I did make friendships that have lasted me since my CP and that I'm pretty sure will last for a very, very long time, whom I love dearly and consider to be some of my closest friends. And I have so many friends from my CP who moved back to Orlando to continue to work for Disney. And I think that's amazing. And I miss them dearly all of the time. It is very likely that you will find your people on the CP. You really do. You find your people. You find your not people, but you find your people. Also super weird one, but I never knew how much time I would spend at Disney Springs. You're going to spend a lot of time at Disney Springs. Thank me later. <laughs> Ultimately, the DCP was my dream. I wanted to do the college program since I was 12 years old. I watched DCP vlogs nonstop for years and years and years until I finally got to college and had the opportunity to go do the CP myself. There's other things that I wish I knew also, but these were the ones that really stuck out to me for now. I hope that they help you make your decision, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't have changed my CP for the world. I know that I wasn't in the best mindset when I went to be able to appreciate what I had when I had it, but it still was magic for me and I do not regret my decision to go one bit. If you take anything from this, know that it's gonna be hectic. It's gonna be a lot. It might mess with your college semester credits just like a little bit, but it's gonna be so worth it. And you're gonna learn so much about yourself that you never knew before or never knew to ask. This experience is just unmatched. It's just magical. So I will leave you with that. Did I get cheesy? Yes. Am I tearing up? Absolutely. But we love the mouse and we will let him keep us hostage for the end of the time. That is going to be it for me today, friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up 
up that way other people can find it go ahead subscribe for more content and if there's anything else you want to see any suggestions comments questions or concerns please go ahead leave those in the comment box below and until next time my friends bye